boat right here. Gonna replace these big old fletchings here with these little fellers. And I just wanted to show you the potato peeler trick. Gotta make sure you have a pretty decent potato peeler. Then voila, fletching on. I think the first step to doing some good fletching here is to get some alcohol. Not some Jack Daniels or something like that, but some isopropyl alcohol from your local pharmacy. And just clean all those ends of those shafts right up. Now I happen to choose the Arizona Easy Fletch. Um, I've tried the fletching jigs and they work, but for some reason I just feel like the Arizona Fletching Jig is faster. And for me, um, it's just as consistent. Make sure it's fletching. It's a decent amount of glue on it, but you don't want to over glue because if you over glue, it spreads out everywhere. Alright, I'm going to make sure our fletchings are at the bottom. And we're going to slowly repel this thing up. Take our blue cap. Slide it over the top. It's gonna scrunch it on the arrow for us. This does have a right helical. And we're gonna let it set. <sighs> I don't really know if there's a magic number. You can see there's a little metal uh, catch and there's an L shape and you slide it up over that. Voila. And we let her dry. You might have seen me doing this at the end of my sorry during the time lapse. One of the things I like to do, you know, this isn't my idea, but I put a glob, not a glob, I put a dab of glue the front and back of all my fletchings. Just to help keep those fletchings a little more secure. This is Bodad. I'm out.